I am finally in LA. It took me the entire day yesterday to get here from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. But I slept like a baby in my favorite green onesie. And now I am speaking with Tia Blanco via Instagram. She is a self-proclaimed vegan foodie who I've never met before. Told me she knows what I'm up to, is totally a fan, and would love to get together and take me on a really cool hike to some spot in Malibu. So I'm on my way to meet her for the first time at Life Food Organic in Santa Monica. And from there, we're gonna go get our hike on. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? How did you this moment? <laughs> Tia, Josh, you already know that. But you don't know this one and you should. This is Tia. And who's this guy? I'm Colt. Hey Colt. So Colt, how do you feel if we go on this magical hike that uh, Tia's telling me about? Go for it. You're down with me kidnapping your girlfriend for just a few minutes? Yeah, I'll totally. Cool. Woo. Welcome Hi. to the Vegan Smartmobile. Yes, Why do you like this hike? Why this place? It's very peaceful. And peaceful's nice. Yeah, I don't know. You can't really go wrong with the hike, so now, I'm excited to take you on it. You're like this, you know, you do the whole surfer thing. You got the you got the awesome surfer hair going on. <laughs> By the way, wait, bring that around to the front. I got so many questions. How many people would spend thousands of dollars to get highlights like these? Oh, it's not so funny you say that. Because I always get asked all the time. They're like, who did your hair? Where do you get your hair done? And then I'm always like, oh, it's just from the sun and the salt. And they never believe me. What kind of music do you listen to? I love all music. <laughs> Hey, so tell me about this whole surfing thing. What came first? Was it the surfing or the veganism? So I've been vegan for the last four years, but I've been surfing ever since I was three. <laughs> but my parents raised me as vegetarian, so I've never had red meat in my life. So that's and cool. So yeah. your parents kind of like paved the way for your ideals. And what are your parents' thoughts about you taking your food ethics to the next level where you're oh, now eliminating it. all dairy. They loved it. Yeah, we're all vegan. As a serious athlete, you must have professionals asking you all the time, well, you know, you gotta make sure you're getting all the nutrients you need. Protein. What do they say? Well, I and just, I get the protein question a lot. And I feel like even when I say, oh yeah, I don't have to worry about protein, they're still skeptical. So I decided to get blood tests every year or so, and each year it turned out perfect. One thing I have read, and a lot of people tell me, oh, I'd rather not take a supplement for B12. Yeah. I would rather just have meat because it's more natural. So I think 90% of the supplements that are made are given to animals. 90% of B12 supplements are already being given to the animals right, that people so are eating. might as well just take the supplements. And we're told that B12 is naturally occurring in meat products, but no. the truth of the matter is... I think it's found in dirt, right? And when the cows eat the grass, right, they they're process. supposed to get yeah. certain amounts of B12, and that does go into their meat. But because land has been destroyed and mistreated and our soil is not taken care of as nature intended, Yep. We're finding a B12 deficiency in the soil, and therefore the cows aren't eating it, nor are we. If you are spending so much of your time in, I would say probably Earth's most populous element, water, right? Our oceans, which is in so many ways the bloodline of this planet, how does that tie into your approach to conservation, your approach to food ethics? Is that connected to your choice to be a vegan in any way? Or are you just yeah. some over-emotional 19-year-old girl that really likes to surf and loves her puppies? Animal agriculture is actually the number one cause of ocean dead zones, and the ocean is like my second home. You don't want anyone pooping in your second home, right. in other words. Yeah. So dead zones are waste when it rains, um, all of the nitrogen and fertilizers from animal agriculture go into our rivers, which enter our oceans and therefore deplete all of the oxygen that their fish and wildlife in the oceans require. Right, so. And they all die. Dead ocean. 
So by going vegan, yeah. you're protecting our oceans. Yeah. Hey, so if people want to get a hold of you or see your work or follow you somehow, yeah. how do they do that? You can follow me on Instagram at at Blanco and at Tia's Vegan Kitchen or on Facebook. My fan page is Tia Blanco and then you could look me up on YouTube. I have some fun recipe videos on there as well. She's doing it all, guys. So no excuses about not having the know-how about how to do vegan because this girl's clearly doing something right. Yay. And if you want to see more of that awesome blonde hair, give me a hair whip. Yes, follow this one. The Adventures of Tia and Josh. Ha, 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 ha.